is my land From California to the New York Island From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me As I went walking that ribbon of highway I saw above me that endless skyway below me that golden valley this land was made for you and me hey how you doing justin here today we are checking out woody guthrie's this land is your land one of the all-time great american folk songs um, and a really really nice one for beginners as well just an a d and an e chord we can use to to play this song the original one is played a little bit more complicated he's playing little melodies with the bass parts and stuff i think for those uh, woody guthrie nerds that the original one will be played with a capo at the second fret using c f and g chords but I'm kind of doing a beginner's version here. We're going to be looking at really, really nice, simple ways of playing it, simple strumming and all of that sort of stuff. So I'll give you a few variations of ways of making it slightly harder, but we're not looking at the original version. Um, one thing that's really important to realise if you're going to try and play along with the original version is that Woody was in a, playing in an era where uh, the strict adherence to bars and the amount of strums in each bar wasn't kind of the norm. So there's very often he'll put an extra strum in or leave one out and it, it's kind of not uh, mathematically correct but it sounds great and it connected with people and that's the really important stuff and it, it can kind of suit beginners sometimes if you've got the uh, luxury of being able to add and remove a beat here and there but I'd, I recommend that you you learn it straight so just playing it uh, with, with the same chord sequence for each verse is what I'd recommend so let's talk about that chord sequence now I've got the capo here at the fifth fret okay because it kind of suits my voice in this key and that's the one that you can kind of play along with uh, most of the original versions uh, the one from the Ash recordings is the one that I've kind of based the version on in my book but uh, you might find that you need to move the capo up and down a little bit to either to fit your voice or to, to play along with the woody version if you if you want to do though do that so uh, the basic version we're going to start with a D chord so we'd have one bar of the D chord and then we go to an A chord and then we go to an E chord and then back to an A chord then back to a D chord and back to an A chord then to an E chord and back to an A chord usually for two bars this last time it's kind of a nine bar sequence okay this land is D chord this land is A chord from Cali E chord to the New York A chord from the Redwood D chord to the Gulf Stream A chord this E chord was made for you and A chord two, three, four and a second one as I went D chord that ribbon of A chord I saw that E chord That endless A chord I sat for D chord That golden A chord This E chord was made for you an A chord Okay, so it really can be played that simple It's a really, really lovely song um, nice message in it as well I like the I like Woody Guthrie a lot fantastic songwriter so the next way to spice up the rhythm a little bit is to add an up strum on the and after two and the and after four so the strumming pattern will be down down up down down up one two and three four and one two and three four and one really really good thing for beginners to practice is that just muting all the strings up and make sure that you can actually get the strumming pattern nice with the hand moving consistently shouldn't be pausing anywhere just down down up down down up keep it real real simple okay once you've got the strumming pattern try it on a chord just say an a chord down down up down down up down down up down down up okay get used to that 
When you can do it, try taking it through the whole chord sequence. So here we go to the D chord. This land is D chord. This land is A chord. From California to the New York Islands. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Now, more observant of you might have noticed that that last upstrum after four was quite often open strings because as a beginner, you're not going to have super fast changes yet. So when you're doing your D chord, you go down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, that one, that last up, you're going to be hitting open strings, and that's fine. You, hopefully you didn't notice it wasn't so, uh, you know, spoiling the song for you listening to me when I just played through it then. Okay, most guitar players do that on that last up strum before the bar change, you, uh, before the chord change, you're going to be changing chord, and you very often get those open strings. There's nothing to worry about if you're a beginner, okay? It's totally cool. You want, you want to keep it to a minimum, right? You don't want to accentuate it usually, but... Uh, you know, don't be upset at yourself if that's happening, okay? So that would be the next stage to practice through while you're playing that song. I'd like to share with you now one more strumming pattern, which is a little bit more advanced, definitely too hard for a stage one beginner, but you know, a later beginner course kind of a person might like to have a go at it, or definitely intermediate guitar players. And what we'll be doing is playing down strums on one and two and three and four and, but the strums that are on the beat, that'll be the one, two, three, and the four, we accent just the bass strings, and then we put the chord down on the rest. So if I just put an A chord down, we play bass chord, bass chord, bass chord, bass chord. It's not like picking the bass note out, not this. It's more strumming the bass string. So one and two and three and four and four. up it sounds really really cool it's quite different to kind of regular strumming though Okay, really, really nice strumming pattern though for you guys that are progressing along and a bit more confident with your chord changes and with your strumming playing because it is, yeah, a little tricky. It's not, it's not a really super difficult one, but because it's a little bit faster and you have to be interchanging between playing just the bass strings and strumming the whole chord, it does take a little bit more practice. Something for beginners to aspire to, by all means, it doesn't hurt to have a little go, but if you're a stage one beginner, you're going to find that pretty tricky, so don't be disappointed if, uh, if it doesn't happen for you right away. So I really hope you're enjoying your progress on the guitar. Do remember Remember that over on the website there's lessons on all of these different chords and how to strum and tap your foot and helping with chord changes and speeding all of that sort of stuff up. So do go and check out that beginner's course if you're a new guitar player. And uh, I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.